Hey guys, where have you all been? I've, I've missed you. It's going to be a quick video because I've just had my first week of a new job this week and I am very tired and I'd like to sleep now, please. But anyway, last Friday was Red Nose Day and in the spirit of comic relief, I read these two books, uh, Quidditch Through the Ages and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now, if you didn't know, these are both fictitious books that are in the Harry Potter series that were created especially for Comic Relief in 2001. I haven't read them since 2001 when I was 11 years old, and reading them both now um, as a grown-up um, was actually really interesting. They're not as good as the Harry Potter books, they are definitely a supplement to them, um, but when I was younger I preferred Fantastic Beasts to Quidditch Through the Ages and this time I really did find Quidditch Through the Ages a lot more interesting and enjoyable. I think that is coming from like an adult's point of view. Um, I think I enjoyed the Fantastic Beasts because it was they were exciting and it, it was it was sort of intriguing to know about the different creatures from the Harry Potter universe because I was a massive fanboy back then too. Um, but this time, Quidditch of the Ages definitely was a lot more interesting because I guess uh, she looked at a lot more of the technical things in the Harry Potter universe. There were some really nice touches in the Fantastic Beasts book, don't get me wrong. Fantastic Beasts is actually annotated by Harry, Ron and Hermione at times. Um, they have drawn little things inside of the book. Um, which is a really nice touch, I think, and it's really interesting to see their little inputs. But Quidditch Through the Ages definitely goes a lot more in-depth into the the amazing sport that is Quidditch, and I absolutely loved it. Both of the books have a foreword by Albus Dumbledore, um, which is really interesting as well, and that gives a little bit of an insight into the work that Comic Relief does. If you don't know, Comic Relief is a charity event that we have in the UK. Um, basically, for one evening every two years, uh, we hold a televised event. Loads of different celebrities, sportsmen, all types of people get involved and basically raise as much money as we can to help people who really, really need it. And for that reason, and for the reason that I got to learn more about the Harry Potter universe, I absolutely love both of these books. And... If you haven't, you should go and seek them out because um, a little bit of the proceeds do go to a brilliant, brilliant cause. So go and buy them, go and read them and learn more about the Potterverse because who doesn't want to know more about Harry Potter? He's a freaking badass. That's all from me this week and I will hopefully see you soon because I miss your faces and I want to hear about the books that you're reviewing. So make videos now, please.